Welcome to Hope Channel International. Ever wondered where dinosaurs come from? This video has some answers for you. Yes, uh, my question would be, where did the dinosaurs come from? Ah, that's a great and, um, question, yes. I, I also want to, to insert this because my teacher in biology mentioned this week that humans are 99% chimpanzee. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, um, let, 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 me, let me just address that very quickly. Um, I, don't, you know, I don't want to be mean to your teacher, but your teacher is absolutely unfamiliar with the, with the literature. Um, since the uh, chimpanzee genome has been sequenced, um, the, the estimate of similarity has gone down to about 96%. Other estimates are lower than that. And as we get into looking at how the, um, uh, the, 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 the chromosomes are arranged and so on, what you see in, in a very detailed way uh, are sort of expressions of astonishment in the, in the literature about how different some of the chromosomes are. The, um, certainly, uh, chromosome y, the Y chromosome, for example, is profoundly different, and several of the others uh, have been explored in other levels of detail. Um, however, let me not be too mean about that. The bottom line <laughs> is this. Chimpanzees are a lot more like us. I would be shocked if the plans for chimpanzees were not a lot more like us than, let's say, a snail. <laughs> um, of course, there are similarities. Um, all living things share similarities. If you go back and read the Bible, you'll see that the Bible is actually very explicit that God created human beings in the same way that he created the animals. He made us out of the same stuff. He uh, created us by uh, using the earth itself. We're made out of the same stuff and uh, by breathing the breath of life into us. That's how he made the animals as well. A lot of Christians forget this, and it's, an, it's a bad thing to forget. Yeah. Um, yes, God made us in the same way. We shouldn't be surprised that there are similarities between us. At the same time, there are obviously profound, profound differences. And the difference between us and other animals is not that we're made out of something different. It's that God made human beings in his own image and, and gave us the responsibility of caring for the rest of creation. Let's take, Steve, you, you also yeah. asked about dinosaurs, but before we get to them, I want to look at your, your toys for oh, a moment. Oh, okay. And we will get back to that question, yeah. where do the dinosaurs okay. come from? Well, but it, I'd just like so, to look it just so happens that I have a couple of um, uh, fragments of dinosaur <clears throat> bone here with me. Um, the reason that I bought them is that one of the biggest questions that people have about dinosaurs is, um, you know, when, when did they exist? And uh, the current theory is that they all went extinct about 65 million uh, years ago. The problem is that recently uh, there has been soft tissue found in some dinosaur bones. Oh, no kidding. And Yes. That's very and, resilient tissue. Well, that is very res resilient tissue. We know experimentally that soft tissue doesn't last that long. Uh, you can do this experiment at home, by the way, with a chicken egg or something. Put it into vinegar, leave it for a while. You'll see that it's actually kind of a rubbery material that's left behind. That stuff doesn't last that long. Experiments have been done so that you can tell how old bodies are and so on. 65 million years? No. That's out of the question. It makes these bones look actually remarkably young. Um, I'm shocked that, that, that it could last for thousands of years, to be honest with you. Sure. So the, um, uh, there's, there's, there's evidence, even from dinosaurs, that uh, perhaps those fossils are not quite as old as people have assumed they've, they, they are. But where did the dinosaurs uh, you know, come from? Where did from? they come from? Where did they come from? I believe that, personally, that dinosaurs came from the same place as all other animals, and that is that God created them. If you look at dinosaurs, um, uh, you know, they're not all big, vicious things like uh, T-Rex or something like that. What they are are uh, animals that are very similar to other animals. They're very well adapted to the environment that they live in. Many of them were vegetarian. Um, they're not all huge. I mean, the, the, some of them are as small as a turkey, basically. Right. Um, uh, it's only the exceptional ones that are huge T-Rex things. That's why we get so excited about them. Um, so I believe that like mammals or, or birds or whatever, uh, dinosaurs were created and that they were beautiful be uh, you know, creatures. And uh, that after the fall 
obviously things started go, going wildly wrong. Beautiful cats turned into uh, <laughs> death-dealing lions and tigers right. and, uh, and so on. So I personally look forward to that time uh, when God does the new creation. And I, I really hope that there'll be some dinosaurs there to, to study, that he won't leave those off the list. Me too. The one exception being Barney the dinosaur, because I don't think anybody could handle him for all eternity. No. All of us who've had young children understand <laughs> that, um, you know, we understand what eternity is just to sit just through to that. Just sit through yeah, Barney so. for half an hour. Absolutely. Yeah. You've got a few more fossils to show. Sure. We are going to have to take another break okay. and some pictures to, to look one, at. One last thing. Okay. Let's, let, let's just look at this fish. It's three-dimensional. This is an amazing fossil. Um, many fossils give an indication that they were produced in a very rapid way, fossils like this. And um, uh, they don't represent, in the process of fossilization, millions of years. Now, you might say that there's millions of years in between, but it's kind of interesting that so many throughout the fossil record, these, these uh, trilobite fossils, similar sort of thing, they look like they were buried very rapidly and fossilized fast. And as a consequence of that, um, we can say that rapid fossilization is something that we see throughout the fossil record. It doesn't require millions of years to build it up. What it requires is actually a very special set of circumstances to make the fossil in the first place.